Hello Scorpio. This is your August forecast. There's a lot happening this month and above all Jupiter, planet of good fortune, abundance, change, expansion and growth, changes sign. So I thought it was time I changed my presentation style and sit and talk to you informally as my lovely friends and family out there. And I'd love your feedback as to how you feel about it. So this month starts off with a lovely conjunction between, for the first week of the month, between Venus and Jupiter. And it's happening here in your 10th house, Scorpios. So this could mean some very wonderful news connected with your career. Um, it could just be a promotion, it could be a new job opportunity opening up for you, a new direction in your career altogether, or somebody just helping you, a benevolent, kind spirit helping you with something connected to your work and your career. Just such a positive aspect. Now on August the 8th we've got Mercury coming into your 11th house. Be a lot of focus here for you this month, Scorpios. And Mercury in this 11th house, it's a good time to really rethink maybe some of your dreams, your wishes, to look at the ones that have already manifest, that have happened for you, and to consider what else it is you want to create for yourself. It's a great time for working with teams of people and also for communicating to a wider audience. So if you're going to give a seminar or a training, or likewise go to a training or seminar, this is a great time for learning with a wider group of people. And also a good time for communicating and sharing maybe some new news with your friends and the people that you socialize with. On August the 9th, we've got Mars coming up into this 10th house. So big focus for you this month with all these planets up in the 10th house, Scorpio, about your career. So Mars there is energizing things. It's saying, come on, let's get on with things. You can accomplish a great deal for those last three weeks of the month with Mars there. Sometimes it's better to work autonomously with Mars because you don't really want any interference from anyone else. Mars is your co-ruler and Scorpios at the very best of times you really don't like interference from other people. But here this is a big focus on you choosing now the next direction with your career and your life path. And you may even choose to get some advice, some help. Some of you may be at sea, it's like, mm, I'm not quite sure what I want to do next. This would also be a good time to get some advice because Mercury, uh, Venus is retrograde still all month in this 10th house. So this would be a good time to review, um, what do I enjoy at work? Am I enjoying my work? Is it giving me enough pleasure or do I need to expand into a new area so that I get more pleasure and upliftment even just thinking about my work? Um, and as I said, Jupiter changing sign, Jupiter, this wonderful planet of abundance on August 12th goes into your 11th house. So this is a wonderful time for you and it's there for a whole year, Scorpios. So it's a great time to expand your social circle, your social reach. You could be doing that on the internet, of course, through social networking and also physically, socially uh, meeting more new interesting people. It's a good time for traveling to meet people. Jupiter brings travel. It also brings good fortune, benevolence, and abundance. So you might meet an, an abundance of new people during this coming year, Libra. And I think you're going to enjoy that because Libra, you are for the most part quite a social sign. But you're going to bring, it's going to bring people from whom you can learn and grow. And you like that, you're an air sign, you like to learn. On August the 14th, we've got a lovely new moon happening up in this 10th house. So new beginnings. What new beginnings do you want in your career? It could be a new opportunity, a new career opportunity coming in. 
um, a new job that you didn't anticipate. But there's a lot of new energy happening in this career and how you want to be seen in the world, how you want other people to see you and how you want to express your career and your talents and your abilities. August 24th, we've got the sun coming into this 11th house of friendships, so big focus later in the month on friendships. What does friendship mean to you? Do your friendships need to change and deepen? Um, it's shining a light as well in your dreams, your wishes, what you want for yourself for this coming year. This is shining a light on that, so a good time to focus on it, consider it, and maybe make a list of the things that are important to you, especially while Mercury is there as well. On August 28th, Mercury going into your 12th house, so good time really to think carefully about um, doing some research. What information do you need to be able to move forward? Good time, you love getting to the bottom of things, Scorps, so Good time for getting to the bottom of something, getting some really juicy information. And on the 29th of the month, we've got a full moon happening for you in your fifth house, which is um, a culmination. So this could be um, a romance coming into your life. It could also mark the end of a romance. It could bring a child, a birth of a child, um, a young person, something happening with a young person in your life, and also the blossoming of a creative project. Could be the culmination of something you've been working on. Could be um, a, a business idea, your own business. Could be a creative endeavor or project, but it's a culmination of something. Or it's shining a light on your creative area and saying, hey, Scorpios, why don't you try this? Try something else try something new. And the last day of the month got a lovely conjunction happening and into the 1st of September between Venus and Mars. So this is a great aspect happening in your 10th house. So potentially something that's been stuck connected with your career could become unstuck and move forward for you in a positive way. Um, we've got Saturn, yes I know, snuck back into Scorpio, but only until September the 18th. So it's just giving you an opportunity, Scorpios, to look at this last two and a bit years, to say, okay, what were the lessons learned? Have I learned those lessons? And am I ready to move on? Those are the questions to be asking yourself. Like, for example, you know, a relationship may have ended. What have I learned from that? I'm not going to go into the same thing again, am I? Or... Maybe you've changed your career, or maybe there are issues around money. You know, there's some finishing up to be done just until September the 18th, and then you can move forward more into who you are and what you want to be doing. So there you have it, my lovely Scorpios. I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, sharing. I always love to hear from you. Bye for now.